Hi, I'm Ricky Bright. Welcome to The Upper Bout. I've been working in the industry for um, about 12 years now. I've worked for a lot of other independent shops. Through that process, I, I learned a lot about the industry, and after a lot of soul searching, realized that I could probably do a better job than most of the people that I've been working for. So um, I decided to open my own shop, and I started about a year and a half ago. We're all pretty sincere about what we do. Here at The Upper Bout, it's about human connectivity and our community. Um, so it does make its difference, because we, we, don't, we don't approach it from we have to make this much money. We approach it from we want to grow a ton of musicians and have players all over the community. We want to engage with them and we want it to be sincere. So I think that's honestly, that's what makes us different is it's not about the bottom dollar. It's, it's about connectivity with musicians. So we've been around for a year and a half. So we've probably been on Reverb for about a year and a month or a year and two months. We were kind of in parallel with Reverb's genesis. You know, um, Reverb was out and they, they started building an environment for people to utilize and we came along at that same time. You know, nowadays with any local shop, a website is paramount. You have to have that. So we went out to designers and developers and engaged in that conversation and said we wanted to look and feel this way. And for us, it was very difficult to create this aesthetic in the greater internet world. Like, how do you do that? Like, how do you take what you love and what you feel and present it to a broader audience? And then, lo and behold, there's this other little thing popping up in the universe called Reverb. And we look at it, and it's got this really unique aesthetic. And it's, it's got a functionality that is, it's exactly what we want. So we're like, okay, well, let's just try this out. And it just happened to be congruous with what we were doing. You know, and it happened to blend really well with our aesthetic. Um, and for me, I feel like there's, there's really two things on reverb. You, you have the guys that use beautiful backdrops and proper lighting and so on and so forth. And then you have the guys like me that I always photograph things in my shop. So you can see my walls, you can see my pre-existing inventory, you can see everything that we are. You know, and I feel like that invites you into my home and my world. You know, it makes us realize that we made the right decision by utilizing Reverb. Instead of really forcing and developing in our own web presence, we just used the web presence that was designed for us. So far, it's been 100% uh, positive. It's a good community of people that, that, that seem to engage because they love the gear. And for us, it's allowing a small local shop to get well beyond its community borders. Um, we sell all over the United States via Reverb. Um, it, it's a great research tool. It allows us to get in there and find the pricing that we need. Um, it allows us to research rare finishes. It allows us to just kind of start a dialogue about guitars. So yeah, it's, it's been great for us. There's no other thing like guitar. You know, you, you take a piece of wood, that a tree falls in the forest. Someone's smart enough to grab that, shape it, form it, and turn it into a guitar that can make people laugh, dance, and cry. Think about this, is there anything else like that in the world? I mean, you reshape metal and people drive their fancy cars around, that's great, but I mean, this is such a natural and organic thing. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, when you connect people with the voice that could potentially be a Grammy award-winning song, that's cool. Yeah, we love connecting people with instruments. That's why we do this. You know, whether it's some cat in Colorado that's connecting via reverb, or whether it's somebody that lives a block away from here, our goal is to create this this community of players that love to engage in music and to create music for everybody. I mean, music is a wonderful thing, you know, and that's, that's why we do this. I don't want to do anything else. <laughs>